Miss Finney here. Um, it's my turn this week to do the story time for you, and I've chosen a book called Little Red Riding Hood. Hope you enjoy it. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who loved to wear red. She had red shirts and red skirts, red shoes, and a fabulous red, bright red cloak. Her name was Little Red Riding Hood. Early one morning, Little Red's mother packed up a basket. I have a very special job for you, she told Little Red. Granny's feeling poorly. Will you take her this fresh fruit? Of course, cried Little Red, and she put her favourite cloak and kissed her mother goodbye. It was a bright sunny day and Little Red skipped through the woods. Good morning, she called to the rabbits and the deer. I'm bringing Granny a special surprise. But someone was peeping from behind the tree. A big, hungry wolf. Good day, growled the wolf. What are you doing in the woods all alone? I'm taking this special basket of fruit to Granny's, Little Red replied. Yuck, thought the wolf. He didn't like fruit. He liked to eat tasty little girls. So the wolf thought up a plan, a horrible, clever plan. Why not pick Granny some lovely flowers, he said. Good idea, said Little Red. But as she started gathering daisies, the wolf raced down the path towards Granny's house. The wolf knocked on Granny's door with a thud, thud, thud. Is that you, Little Red, my dear? called Granny. Yes, squeaked the wolf. Let me in, it's breakfast time. Oh, goody, said Granny, opening the door. What are we having for breakfast? You, cried the wolf. yelled Granny. You're not Little Red. And she slammed the door tight on his big furry nose. Ow! howled the out wolf. Quick as a flash, Granny ran out of the back door and into the woods to find help. Horrid old Granny, the great wolf growled, rubbing his nose. But now he could put his terrible plan into action. So when Little Red knocked, tap, 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 on Granny's door, it was a deep, scratchy voice that answered, Come in, my dear. Little Wolf walked into Granny's bedroom and stopped in surprise. Why, Granny, she said slowly, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my dear, croaked the wolf. And Granny, Little Red said carefully, what big, hairy arms you have. The better to hug you with, my dear, growled the wolf. But Granny, Little Red, Red whispered, what big teeth you have. The better to eat you with, my dear, snarled the wolf. And he pounced at Little Red. Just at that moment, the door burst open. In rushed Granny with the woodcutter. Stop right there, yelled Granny. Put her down bellowed the woodcutter, or we'll chop you up and turn you into a birdhouse. With a terrified howl, the wolf jumped out of the window and ran far, far away, never to return. Little Red hugged Granny tight. I'm so glad you chased that wolf away, she said, and she gave back Granny the basket of fruit. What a day of excitement, laughed Granny. Now, let's all have breakfast. I hope you enjoyed that, Griffins. Bye for now.